So guys, uh, I wanted to come on here, kind of do a haul, like the things that I bought, because I didn't realize that I, I didn't show anything of the things that I bought. It's not that much, so yeah. Basically, the first thing that I bought was my boots. So, a little kind of backstory. I've been intrigued, but never really had the courage to like go to a Haripe and dance. Or like to go to dress like a vaquera because I felt like the vaquera outfit didn't really suit me, like the button up. So I, I just kind of opted out for like sneakers, jeans, and a dressy shirt. Also, I never really had the courage to dance Mexican music or in general. Um, I don't know why, but. For some reason, this whole year, I think it maybe it was like my cousin Victoria and like her energy of like in her 15 pulls me aside, pulls my other cousins, she pulls us all to like the dance floor on her 15 and makes us dance. Even in my 15, I didn't dance as much. I wasn't enjoying myself when I was dancing because I felt too judged. But at her 15, yes, I got like a little panicky, but it, it, I realized how much fun it was to, to dance and enjoy dancing with the family. The first thing that we had after her 15 was my two cousins 15. There was a, they were boys and they wanted to celebrate cowboy theme. So we did that and outfit style had to be cowboy. So I dressed in like whatever boots I had, which was like black booties, which kind of could pass as like your typical like botines, but like they're girly. <laughs> the outfits that are coming out right now are more of like the girly shirts or like very like pretty, like blouse style they look so nice and so pretty and i feel like it that style kind of like fit me or i liked that kind of style more yeah because we're doing so much vaquera parties and my family is very like into that like whole they like the high bells and like the cowboys they like the thing i going to the white leg going like that type of stuff i feel like it was a necessity to have these boots because i was also really getting into their mood so, these are the boots that I got, and I thought, I feel like right now, I should have gotten like a lower top, like maybe here, because I'm, I'm kind of petite, or I'm not tall, like my cousin, but I feel like she would suit this length the most, because she's very tall. I wish I was that tall, but I'm not. So I feel like this length might eat me up. We'll see. But I got also got some like botines, some boonies, which they're with this rectangular shape. And they have like flower here and like a little flower or some something like similar to this here. And they cut right here or something around there. Okay, the first first actual thing that I got is this. So it's a uh, relatas, you say that in English, bottle opener. And it is from El Nanancu that I got. I think it was like 50 pesos, or was it 100 pesos? I don't know, but I really like the colors and it feels very like macizo. Then I also got this. So it's like a little magnet. It has its little earrings, the little flowers. And I feel like when I saw it, I was like, this cute thing is coming with me. I think it was like, I don't, I don't think it went over like 50 pesos. So I was like, yep, yep. And then, okay, so this one, he told me a lot of things about this one. And I completely forgot. It's a blue deer. But 
it also has a little like, I don't know if it's like a bunny or what it is, but it has, he said every single one is different. It has its own uniqueness. And I think he said they, that it's something, he works with something, Shakira or something. I can't remember. I wish I could. He works with an, uh, un artesano. What is his name? That is from Real de Catorce, and I think he said he worked with peyote. It's made of wood, and then the inside is kind of like little beads stick sticking together. It was a little too expensive, but it's too pretty, so I got that. And then this is the last thing I got. So my mom got these. These are, and I have some. They don't have the little mona, and they're a gift actually. This is what they look like. They're so cute. Who Who's getting this gift? She loves earrings and she loves like unique little things like that. So I thought these were perfect for her. Well, we thought these were perfect for her. She, she, did, she can just rock these. Like she can rock earrings so nicely. I think it's her confidence maybe. It, gets, it just goes so well with her. And then these. I got this bracelet. I don't know if it's for a gift for the same person, but she said it was a gift for somebody. I'm thinking it's for the same person. But I love these little like beads. It looks like it's like a little swan. It's so pretty. And we also got this as a gift for somebody. These are so pretty. I have one. This is mine. It's like sunflowers, sunflowers, and they are bordados. I don't know how to say that in English, but yes, the inside is basically this color, and it opens in three, and it has like room for like cards and stuff like that. This one, I'm sure it'll be similar as this one. This one is different, like material. This is inside but this one is softer i feel like this one is so pretty too because like the paintings are so vibrant and so pretty so nice and then i got these earrings for me so i love these little like feathery little looking things but it's like hilo and it's so it's like so pretty i used to have some cream ones but they weren't as like wide and I lost one of them at a party I don't know what happened but I lost one of them and I couldn't find it and I was so sad then so my mom got this one so it's a dress and it's like length sleeve and then it's oh sunflowers and I think it goes down to like below the knees. And then it has its little cordon. So you could amarrarlo. The colors, I, I feel like the colors, like the pink and yellow and the green, go so well with each other. Like it, it brings out the sunflowers a lot. And then this one. This one is my favorite. And I kind of went with like an inspo photo to Mexico to find this specific kind of like dress. But apparently these are out of style now. Like apparently they've been so since September of last year, so it's kind of time to like get rid of them and start from with new things. And this is a medium as well, so it's a little big for me. So again, even though it's red and it has so many colors, it's it's just so pretty, like the colors and the contrast and like the work that it goes through. Because it's like this is all handmade and it's todo bordado a mano. Which I'm like, how does that, how is that possible? How is it so perfect to be handmade? Like, how? But it's just so pretty. And then, so this is the best part. It's, it has a slit at the bottom. Now, it does have this. So it's able to kind of like chun chun, 
you know we have this little girl which i thought was so cute and it says san luis we got it at the airport we were seeing things last minute and we we're like I, I couldn't not have this one as well it's like a magnet for the little for the little for the fridge this also we got at the airport and it's like a dollar or like a money type and it's bottle opener i thought it was just perfect for gifting as well or i don't know what we're gonna do with this but yeah i'm just having like a bunch of like these little knickknacks on the fridge it's like it makes it so pretty i feel one could disagree and then this was gifted to us for my mom it was gifted to my mom but i still wanted to show it to you guys because it's it's so pretty like the work that it goes into I think it was my aunt who gave it to us. I think. It's like, it could be a tortillero. It could be a tortillero. It could be just, you could just literally put it on like furniture, which is what Mexican people mostly do. Like, you just put it on like furniture and then it's an accent piece. And the colors are so vibrant. Again, I feel like when you get something from Mexico, the colors are just so vibrant and so pretty, so beautiful. If you pass by something, you're just like, I just have to have it. Mm -hmm. 